Yeah, buddy. This is literally the best thing I've ever made in my truck. <laughs> like, what? Hi, welcome to my night of luxury truck camping in my Defender. If you saw my last few episodes, you saw me absolutely struggling. I can't drive him anymore. You need a tow? Yes. Hashtag what? Hashtag topo. What is it? Hashtag topo. <laughs> so I decided I was gonna take a night and just curb some stress, you know? <laughs> Anyways, let's rewind you a few hours. There's biting flies here. <laughs> Hi guys, how are we all doing? I'm in the middle of a retreat week, if you will, a self-help week, a get my crap together week. I'm just trying to feel better because I have been riding the struggle bus very hard. Anyways, I uh, came to my favorite campsite in all of America. Not my favorite state, but my favorite campsite ever that I've ever been to. Love it. No service here, no nothing. Just you in nature. Okay. I'm gonna take Blue on a walk really quick and attempt to wear him out before we have to cook and cam for the night, so. Oh, buddy. Yeah? You know exactly what's going on, don't you? Okay, come on. You guys, look how sick this site is, though. Like, I'll just, I'll never get over it. Favorite site ever. The moss dripping off the trees, the river. Blue gets to swim constantly. I don't know if you can see, but he's literally always in the water. It's just like the perfect place to reset. Yeah, bub, get your energy out. That's what I'm talking about. Why is it so pretty here? Like I just, I'll never get over it. Yep. Good job. Part of the reason I'm so stressed is because, as you guys saw over the last couple of weeks, Poe was breaking down. I had to spend a ton of money. That was stressful in itself. <laughs> but right after Expo, like a few days after, I started dealing with more issues in Poe. Specifically, a really rough idol and then Poe dying all the time. So it's been fun. I took Poe to a different shop in a nearby major city to a Defender Specialist again. I had his alternator replaced. Thankfully, I carry an alternator on me at all times, so that was helpful and it worked out well. I'm glad that Joel made me carry all these extra parts. Are you getting tired, bub? Come on. Alternator was replaced, and then I had a lift pump replaced as well, which is what the mechanic thought it was, but I'm still dealing with the rough idle to this day, so. It's just stressful. Nobody really knows what's going on. Here's post symptoms for anybody who wants to contribute. I get a really rough idle. It's only the first start of the day. Once I kind of put gas on it and get all the sputtering out, Poe will run fine all day long and it's totally normal. But then once I camp and start it up the next morning, he sounds like this. Wait for the glow plugs to go off. And I have to give it gas. Oh, keep in mind, there's a ton of smoke that comes out too. You can see that in the mirror. There's smoke all over. And like once I push all the fuel through, it kind of will like even out. If I drive Poe around, he'll even out and be fine. And then like I said, fine all day. But in the morning, he starts like that every single day. Also, sometimes upon acceleration, there's smoke. We've replaced the lift pump, alternator for the di a different battery issue, the fuel injector pump, the timing belt was recently replaced. Anybody, if you can help, thank you so much. <laughs> I have more diagnostic appointments set for the future, and obviously, I know it's my fault for choosing a 26-year-old vehicle. I'm still happy I got Poe. I still love my Defender. No Land Rover hate over here. I knew what I was getting into, but it's just, it just more so sucks because I was unprepared. And so it kind of like pushes all my videos back when my truck is in the shop so much. Anyways, it's a weird snowball, but I'm not here to talk about the negativities of my life right now because we're doing luxury truck camping tonight. Okay, we're gonna have fun. We're gonna treat ourselves. Know what I mean? I just also need to let you guys know what's going on and why we're riding the struggle bus so hard right now. Well, actually, multiple reasons, but that's a big one. Hashtag pray for Poe.
already in the water. Don't lose your ball, bub. What a water dog. Chloe's gonna be so gross tonight, buddy. I know. You having fun? My kid. Are you worn out? Is our mission accomplished? Are you tired? Apparently not. All right, Blue, I gotta go organize Poe, okay? You have fun. My makeshift trash bag. All right, Poe is looking a little bit better. Ready for the night, kind of. Listen, it's a little crowded, but it's how it is when you live full time on the road. You know what I'm saying? So, time for dinner. I'm starving. Oh. There's my water from last night. Time to get some air flow in here. For you, sir. <laughs> if you know, you know. You know. I swear it gets better every time I have it. Okay, my luxury meal of the night is gonna be mushroom truffle cheese ravioli with ground bison. It does sound absolutely bizarre, but we'll see how this goes. I'm actually pretty sure you're not supposed to cook anything inside the jet boil, like food-wise, but I don't have any other pans. So we're just gonna janky rig it a little bit tonight. Dinner is exciting, but I'm most excited about dessert. Okay, that's where it's gonna be luxury, is our dessert tonight. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm gonna simmer you. Whoop. Set timer for three minutes. Oh my gosh, it's so hot in here. Why is it summer? Somebody give me fall weather and hoodies and sweatpants. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. I usually don't make full meals like this, so this is just luxury for me in and of itself because it's a full meal. It's not oatmeal or a uh, freeze-dried meal you just add water to. Alright, how am I going to do this because I don't have a strainer? I did not think this through. Who needs a strainer when you have a plate? set this aside. You guys, how much of this am I supposed to do for one person? Probably just like a fourth, right? Right? I wish I was live so somebody could give me an answer. I'm just gonna do a fourth. I'm just gonna do a fourth. Just like a hunk, right? She's a chef. I do feel like I'm slowly but surely getting better at cooking. Dad, do you approve? Comment below. Okay. Here's a question I just thought of, but I can't ask anybody 
because I have no service, so there's no contact with the outside world. Am I supposed to strain the meat before adding sauce to it? I feel like I used to remember my mom like straining ground meat for some reason. I think I'm just gonna add the sauce to it. I don't have to, there's like water in it though. I don't know, all I know is cook the meat till it's brown, right? That's good. I, beyond that, that's as far as my knowledge goes. You probably are supposed to strain it, but I'm just, I don't, I don't have it in me, okay? It's just like in a lump from sitting in there. You guys, this is pretty luxe for me. Holy cow. That sauce is good. <laughs> Man, go me. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Am I bougie or what? <laughs> Holy cow, this is so impressive for me. What? All right, taste test, because what if the ravioli sucks? You never know. Sauce is great, though. I guess I am Italian after all. That is so fire, you guys. This is literally the best thing I've ever made in my truck. I'm actually so proud of myself. This is fire. I really should start cooking more often, I think is what I'm learning. Bubby? I just wanted you to know that your mom is growing up. Would you like some bison? What do you think? Be honest. Is it good? Okay, cool. Thank you so much. It's time for the bougiest dessert we could ever have truck camping. We're making creme brulee. Which if you don't know, creme brulee has to be torched. I found these at Whole Foods and I was like, this is such a perfect idea for having like a luxury night or a night where you're really taking care of yourself and trying to be a little bougie, you know? <laughs> this is so cool. So you take the sugar, pack it, put it on top, and then essentially just light it on fire. Which, I have my fire extinguisher nearby because we all know it's me. So the chance of me burning down Poe is not zero, that's for sure. Oh my gosh, this is so fun, I have a torch! I have a torch! I, re I just realized my vents are open and I'm screaming. I'm sure my neighbors appreciate that, okay. <laughs> This is so scary and I'm so excited. Okay. <laughs> yeah, buddy. You guys. That was so exciting. I definitely didn't torch it very evenly, but hey, first time making creme brulee in a truck. I'm gonna give myself just a little grace. It's like real creme brulee. Cheers, guys. Dang. This is by far the best dinner dessert experience I've ever had, like in this truck ever, or just vehicle camping over the last six years. Five out of five stars. It's the Petite Pot Creme Brulee. You can get them at Whole Foods. Oh my gosh. Phenomenal. Just torch the top. What? I should not legally be allowed to have one of these. That is so funny. Oh my gosh. I will say there really is something about creme brulee that just makes you feel better. It's getting kind of dark out. I need to go get blue. You ready to come inside, pup? Oh, blue, you are so gross from the river. He's like covered in mud. Do you see all this? This is all just caked mud. Oh, Bubby. <laughs> At least you're having fun. Okay, I'm coming. Scooch! No, 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 don't go all over the truck, Bub. Stay in one location. You and your little muddy self. Here's the thing, guys. 
I don't really allow myself to do too much entertainment watching, if that makes sense. I'm not a big TV watcher. I'm not even really a big YouTube watcher because I always have something to do. I always have something to edit. I have something to work on. And so I just feel guilty if I spend hours like playing games, watching movies. It's a rarity. But when I'm burned out, I allow myself to do that because I just need a little reset. It's a little TLC. You know what I mean? So, this is so ridiculous. I did get this as a Christmas present, and uh, so I didn't buy it myself, but I have yet to use it. So we're gonna, we're gonna do that tonight for the first time. Wow, this is way heavier than I thought it would be. It's a VR set. I literally can't see anything right now. I downloaded stuff to this earlier so that I could use it while I'm in a no service zone, but I, I forgot how to turn it on. I think it's, I thought it was this, I swear. Turn on. Open. Sesame. Since I killed the Oculus, I'm gonna let it charge for a little bit. And I'm gonna get ready for bed and do something. Self-care? I'm gonna do a face mask. Okay. Oh my gosh, Bubby, you left dirt all over everything. <laughs> I'm glad I'm sleeping in the alley cab because it is covered in sand down here. What do you have to say for yourself? Just that you love swimming in the river and then rolling in dirt? I get it. I get it. Oh, yeah. Also, my sink is still leaking. This is all water. Um, in case anybody has any tips, I have no clue why it's leaking. All right, some sort of bougie collagen hydrate face mask. Let's do it. Put it on your face and relax for 10 to 15 minutes. I can do that, girl. Okay. Oh, this is very weird. Oh my gosh! The eyes are a heart cut out. How cute. I wonder if this is gonna freak Blue out. Oh my gosh. I look so scary. I look scary, but I'm taking care of myself, so... Whatever. Self-care. I look like that one, uh, serial killer with the hockey mask. Michael Myers. Are you scared? <laughs> He's like, what's going on? They look weird. This is luxury truck camping, you guys. A sheet mask. Waiting for your Oculus to charge. It's been 15 minutes. Here's the big reveal. Am I a new woman or what? <laughs> Probably not. My skin does feel very fresh, though. Very fresh. Well, 30% battery. Better than nothing. I have never played this thing before. I've only set it up and downloaded it. What I will say is it's just nuts that you, anywhere you look, you it's just, the screen is everywhere. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Turn on. Oh my gosh. I don't know if you guys can hear this. Probably not. But there's like, I can, it's like there's music. <gasps> Holy cow. You guys, I'm literally on a beach in paradise right now. It's so crazy because, like, I'm sure I look nuts right now, but anywhere I look, the screen moves with me. Whoa! Like, it's so weird I have a wall here, but I don't because it... <laughs> okay, I need to stay in my zone or I'm going to end up, like, breaking all my stuff. So it's crazy because, like, you feel like you're in the world and then... Oh my gosh, my hand is... That's freaky, you guys. If you've ever done VR, you can see your hands in here. Like my, my hands are, I didn't notice that before. It knows what position I'm on on the keys. That's freaky. Okay, here we go. Let's play these games I've downloaded and watch this stuff I've saved. Bubby? Okay, this is freaking me out because Blue is like touching me. Bubby, get up. This is like really cool because I can watch stuff on here. It's like a mini TV on the road, kind of, for me. So, like, that's fun when I, like, want to lay down and watch something, you know? But it's kind of scary, like, how do you guys feel about virtual reality? This kind of freaks me out a little bit. I would love to know more about, like, the psychology behind this and how it affects human brains. Anyways. Okay, I'll stop being annoying. This is- it's- I, like, just can't- I gotta figure out how to, like, screen share this so I can put it in the video, but this is just- Nuts! It's so crazy that it knows where my thumb is on the controller when I move it. How does it know that? 
I'm in my truck, camping in the woods, but I'm in another world. This is crazy how far technology has come. I'm the bougiest homeless person I know. Okay, I think that's enough of a virtual world for me tonight. Power off. Power off. Holy cow, that is so freaky. What a wild Christmas present. <laughs> Anyways, back to reality, Maria. Um, I successfully turned it off this time so it won't die on me for next time. I feel like I kind of had to stop though because, gosh, I feel like it like messes with your head after a while. Maybe that's just me. Baby. Go potty. Come on. One last time. Go potty. Did you go potty, bud? Okay, come on. Cup up. Up. Good boy. Love you. Time for bed. Night, Pupper Lou. I love you. See you in the morning. Don't give me that face. Stop. Night, Bubby. Love you. It's sad because I always want Blue to sleep up here with me and he never wants to. Like, anytime we put him up here, he's just anxious. And refuses to sleep with me. So, I guess it's also good that he keeps all the dirt downstairs. <laughs> Still, I kind of miss just like cuddling a little bit, you know. I don't know if the camera picks it up very well, but being right next to the river is so calming because you just have that white noise of the river all night long. It's perfect. I swear I'm more tired at this campsite because I'm like being rocked to sleep by the river. I also just realized this alu cab kind of is always luxury. The fact that I have two levels in my Defender, I guess, means I'm kind of always luxury camping, right? I think roughing it for so many years, like over five years in a Subaru Outback, that was just a matchbox car where I was just like a squished little bug all the time. And then I moved to the Defender, just that upgrade alone was luxury truck camping all the time. And then to have the Alu Cab, it's like crazy. So anything on top of that is just like a bonus. Anyways, thoughts for the night. I do feel like it's helping though. I feel my spirits are lifting. That creme brulee like really did something to me. <laughs> Anyways, see you guys in the morning. Good morning. Good morning, boy. Oh my goodness. Good morning, baby. Good morning. Hi. Hi. Oh, somebody's very excited. Hi. Good morning. Go potty. I'm going to make coffee. BRB. Coming back to life. <laughs> okay. There you go, pug. Luxury truck camping is always fun, and it's always fun to have stuff to do, like an Oculus or fancy food or switching it up in a way that feels more like bougie, but <laughs> it's like, after last night, I definitely feel better because I like took a minute and took care of myself instead of just burning myself out and stressing about all of the things that are currently going wrong, but it's like no matter how luxury camping gets, the most healing and best part of it is just waking up next to a river and having coffee with your dog. Bubby, speaking of, where is my dog? Bubby, come! 